And now, ladies and gentlemen, the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the interim WBA Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. These evening's bouts are being sanctioned by the Boxing Union of Ireland, President Mel Crystal. Supervising for the WBA, Renzo Bagnariol from Nicaragua. The referee from South Africa, Stanley Christodoulou. Our three judges for this contest are from Mexico, Alfredo Polanco. From Italy, Pierre Luigi Poppi. And from France, Jean Francois Topin. And now, Dublin, Ireland. Are you? Find out quién es el más macho. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the challenger, wearing black, trimmed in silver. He weighed in officially at 55 kilograms or eight stone, nine pounds, four ounces. He enters the ring with an undefeated professional record of 11 victories. Seven of those victories coming by way of knockout. The European Super Bantamweight Champion, fighting out of Limerick, Ireland. Willie Big Bang Casey. Across the ring of the red corner, the defending world champion. He steps in wearing black, trimmed in gold. He weighed in officially at 54.9 kilograms or eight stone, nine pounds. He two possesses an undefeated professional record of seven victories. Five of those victories coming by way of knockout. The former two-time world amateur champion and two-time Olympic gold medalist this evening defending his interim WBA Super Bantamweight World Championship out of Santiago de Cuba, Cuba, Guillermo El Chacal Rigondao. Shake hands, good luck to you both. Well, we're nearly there. That's Willie Casey. World title fight. And the referee, amazingly, in this one, is a man who is associated with one of Ireland's greatest knights. His name is Stanley Christopher Lou, who refereed at QPR the night that Barry McGuigan beat Eusebio Pedrosa. And he also has refereed Hagler Duran, Thomas Hearns as well. If you're interested in statistics that don't Round matter, one. Willie Casey is an ounce heavier. One ounce. And away they go. A pair of southpaws and a pair of willies. Guillermo Redondo and Guillermo Casey. Redondo faints with that left hand. Very wide stance from both men. And keep an eye, a watchful eye, on that left hand of Guillermo de Redondo. He will have less opportunities against the fellow southpaw. But he's quick of hand, he's quick of foot. And if necessary, he can move and run. But the attitude of Willie Casey is fantastic. So I think he's hurt Casey already with a body shot, Jimmy. Those body shots are absolutely devastating. The power at Sarah is unbelievable. And I think Casey's being hurt early on here. He's the good... best bantamweight, super bantamweight body puncher I think I've seen. 
I've seen Casey's fence, uh, face wincing here when uh, Rigondo threw a, a real good solid body shot. But he's very, very, very dangerous with, with those left hooks and right hands to the body. Remember, Rigondo took the world title of Ricardo Cordoba, the man who, from whom uh, Ber Bernard Dunn won. Cordoba was down in the fourth round of that, but Rigondo himself was down in the sixth round. So he can be put on his backside, all right. But not to... Oh, it's another of those crucifying left hands to the body. That one on the jaw, though. The body and jaw, there's another one to the face from Redondo. That left hand is almost a lethal weapon. There's just a wee bit too much power, Jimmy, and a wee bit too much uh, skill here. Rigondo sort of has it all. He's, he's got the power, he's got the variation. Beautiful yep. boxer. Those body shots are absolutely devastating. Oh, another left hand and down goes Big Bang. Rigondo's left hand is lethal. It should come, he should come with a government warning. And Willie Casey's in some distress. He doesn't, no, I, I think, he doesn't, Jimmy, he's, he's very badly hurt here. He was hurt at least three times in that round. He won't be hurt anymore because it's all over. Willie Casey, great heart, great big bang, wonderful fellow. The Royal of the Rover story has for him, I'm afraid, a bitter ending. Guillermo Rigondo has been sensational in this first round. I've warned you, well, so did a lot of other people about his, his punching. I saw him last when he was an amateur. He was a sen fantastic amateur. And he hasn't lost a pick of it at 30 years of age. And you've got to feel sorry for Willie Casey. He ran into a tsunami, a tsunami called Rigondo. The he tried his best. He, he did whatever he had to do, uh, Casey, to sort of survive. But he was caught with some very, very, very powerful shots there, as you can see. He does know where he is there, and uh, it's a great performance by Rigondo, but oh, you have brilliant. to take your hat off to, to Willie Casey. A very brave young man, but, you know, his inexperience, he's only had, that's his 12th fight, Jimmy. It was a big ask of him to try and win the WB ver version of the world title. But because... only a man with a mighty heart would even get in the ring here tonight yeah. to fight Rigondo. But I'll tell you this, the fact that he had to give up his Euro, or did give up his European title to take this fight, means that all he's lost tonight is a fight for the world title. He gets a truly great opponent. And now, with a bit of a rest, he can go back, and you know he can try and regain the European title that he relinquished. So yeah. all he's lost, really, is a fight. Yeah, that's true. You're 100% right, Bernard. And I hope that uh, whenever uh, he uh, he's fully recovered, that he sets his sights on uh, getting himself another European title shot. Because like, one of the few things that beat, beat him here tonight, Jimmy, was the lack of experience. You know, he moved from a from a you know a nice swing smiling. boat. Yeah, he swing, from a swing boat, you know, up into a world class. You know, within a very short space of time. And it's lack of experience, you know, and, uh, and a lack of a whole lot of things. And that's, uh, I just think it was a wee bit It was the 12th fight, the 12th fight of Willie Casey's career. It was the 403rd fight of, of yeah. Redondo's well, you career. Can, you can see the difference, you know, but uh, a big, big lack of experience here on uh, Willie's behalf. But that's not his fault. Experience only comes with time. And uh, I'm sure Willie Casey's got loads of that left. I'm glad to say that Willie's up, on a, up and about, as they say. It can't have been easy for him. It was a tough, tough night. But he's lost nothing in credibility. As I said before, he only lost the fight. Here is Lupe Contreras again. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Stanley Christodoulou steps in and calls a halt to this bout with an official time of 2 minutes, 38 seconds of the very first round. Your winner by way of technical knockout and still the interim WBA Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Guillermo El Chacal Rigondao.
Marty has made the wet. And here he is. Morrissey Willie. versus Casey. <laughs> Thanks very much, uh, Jimmy McGee. Willie, Big Bang Casey, first of all, are you all right? Yeah, I'm, re I'm pretty much recovered now, like, after that, so uh, I I'm happy now, like, you know, I I'm up and I'm all right, like, you know, so I thank everyone here as well for all the support and everything. Lucky enough for me, like, you know, I get home to go to... After here, I'll get to go home with all my wife and kids and spend some time with them again, so it was a little bit disappointing, but these things happen in boxing. And the true champion gets back up and comes back again, and that's how we, we'll see how the real champion is, like, you know? Willie, you've brought uh, great honour indeed to yourself and indeed to Limerick, and I know you're going to be disappointed, particularly with the first round, but Regan Doe, he's some boxer, isn't he, Willie? Yeah, but I mean, like, you know, people take him for granted, like, you know, he had it all to prove to come over here, like, you know, to show that he can stand and he can fight and he can bang and, and, and he can punch too, like, you know, and... and this is boxing, like, you know what I mean? You, know, you get hit like that, like, you know, it's either him or it's me. Do you know what I mean? I'm fortunate enough for me, it was me tonight, like, you know. But the next time it'll be the other opponent, like, you know, that, that's, it's boxing, like, you know. You have to get on with it, like, you know. It was difficult to defend against, wasn't it? Yeah, but, like, he's so skillful, like, you know, he's so clever. I always said he's skillful, like, you know. And he's always clever, like, you know. His shots come from every angle, like, you know. We know what to expect. But as I said, like, you know, he, he caught us in good time, like, you know, and as I said, the, these kind of shots, like, you know, no matter who you are, like, you're going down regardless, like, you know, good chin, bad chin, it doesn't matter. You get caught with shots like that, you go down. And it's up to yourself to get back up and see how you go from there, you know. Now the question is, as you said yourself, the sign of a true champion, he gets up again. You won the European title, you had a shot at the world title. Willie Big Bang Casey, I'm sure, will be back. Yeah, but I mean, like, I mean, like, here I am, here I am after only 11 fights, fighting for a world title, do you know what I mean? If I knew I wasn't going to be beaten, do you know what I mean, uh, before I ever came into this game, uh, like, I, I, I never knew that I was never going to be, I never said I was never going to get beaten, like, you know what I mean? But, like, I, I do train, I train very hard, like, you know, and it was unfortunate tonight, like, you know, Regan, though, as a class operator, and as I said, you know, if you get caught with shots like that, no matter who you are, you're going down regardless, like, you know? Well, you can hold your head high. You brought great honour to your family and to everybody in Limerick and to boxing. Willie, big bang, Casey. Thanks, everyone, for coming out.